Once Mike and I had the hook, we were writing to a beat. Um, this beat was something that he had in his stash, in his library, and it was some from, from somebody online. I don't know who this person was, but I was like, Mike, like, this is the beat, this is the beat. We have to find who this person is. Like, this is amazing. He's like, I'm on it. But we couldn't find this person. We, we, it, didn't, it didn't come about the way that we wanted. We just couldn't find this person. So I switched gears. There was a producer in Atlanta. This seems like a good fit. We had some conversations back and forth. And then we started to begin the process. Um, and this is during the pandemic. And I think after the first wave, like the first time, <laughs> things started to get busy with him. And then he could no longer continue on with the track. Um, and then entered Darrell. And I called Darrell. I was like, Darrell, I really need your help, dude. Like, listen, like, I was stressed out at this point because I've, I've gone, I found the beat that I wanted. That was a little bit stressful because we couldn't find the person that we wanted, we wanted to buy the beat from. Then we found this guy from Atlanta. All was going well, but just with the workload and things opening back up down there, he was like, I got other things that I need to do. We find Darrell and uh, Darrell um, is like, I will take this on. He, I told him the story and he's like, yes, I got you. Don't worry. I'll do not only the R&B one, I'll do the hip hop one as well. Cool. So through that process, Darrell is seeing how big this track is becoming. And he and I had a conversation and through that conversation, he's like, we need Gary. Uh, Rufus has so much beautiful energy. So when he asked me to be a part of this and vocally produce the, 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 the singers, um, and we knew it was gonna be a heavy lift. Um, uh, a, a few people suggested he um, you know, ask me to do it. And he, he was like, oh, this is beautiful because we've worked together before. Um, and when you're, when you're vocally producing upwards of 35 or 36 singers, and a lot of that is leads, um, then you know, there has to be a meticulous kind of bringing together so that everyone fits like, like a transformer. Um, and um, I've definitely had the pleasure of working with some of the best vocalists in, in Canada and probably some of these voices, you know, world-class, um, all-star of beautiful voices out of Canada here um, to come together and, and, and bring light to a global message. So, yeah, it's been a privilege. Working with Gary is amazing. Um, very talented man. Um, just um, able to take all these ideas, um, all these flavors from all these vocalists, um, all the nuances that these vocalists bring and he's able to, he was able to kind of speak to them in a way that um, landed, connected. They, they heard what he needed to s get across so that they could perform it in the way that was still true to them but gave him what he needed for the track. Till the walls come tumbling down. Now. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, now, then the walls come tumbling. You'll know when you feel it, hear it, but I want to marry it with the other one so they, so they are in lockstep. Yeah. Black, white, yellow, you know, uh, people of all races, creeds, colors, this is, a, this, is, this is a combating of a mindset that we're doing here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's poignant, it's still poignant as it was last week, as it was a year ago, as it was for all these different little moments we've seen in time. Um, and, and this is part of that, that uh, offering, this, 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 this um, artist, artistic offering to say, hey, no, 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 we're walking together, all of us, to combat this mindset. I love working with Gary and um, I can't wait for you guys to hear what uh, he was able to help us uh, with on this track. Choosing the artists for this project um, <laughs> has been a journey. I made a list. I made a list of artists that I definitely wanted. Definitely wanted. What I mean by that was people that I knew. So people that I know, these are definitely who I wanted. And I had a list of definitely who I wanted, but I did not know. And then I had a pool of, I don't know any of these. Like I'll just start searching online and the, and the random person that I find, I'll kind of put them on um, in that list. And I started reaching out 
to the people that I knew. Uh, Rufus reached out to me. I hadn't actually met Rufus or heard of Rufus, Rufus before he emailed me. Um, so I was a little bit hesitant at first because I didn't know who it was. And then I heard the song and the message and the idea that he was trying to get across. And I just felt like it was something that I, as a queer black artist who's trying to make things happen and make change happen, that it was something that I should probably be a part of. Having the opportunity to sing with amazing artists uh, from around the GTA, from around Ontario is an honor and is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. And not to mention for this cause, it's so important that we come together as a collective and we, we raise our voices and we use the, the music of you know love as a frequency to share the message. The way that I saw this going down was we are the world. So think we are the world. I wanted people in the studio. I wanted, you know, Gary up there conducting the choir, doing whatever he needed to do. We were gonna have a great kumbaya weekend, and then we were gonna sit in the studio and chop this thing up and piece it together and create a, a wonderful song. COVID kiboshed that completely. I have to get all these 30 artists in the studio and out of the studio. I cannot have them cross paths. And in between each studio session, there's like a half an hour window where we had to kind of clean, sanitize the air. Um, so it not only pushed our timeline um, because now I have to space people out <laughs> in these time slots, um, it, it, it impacted my budget because now I wanted one or two days in the studio and now I have to like have six days in the studio because I have to spread these people out. Lines, okay. So you're gonna hear right off the top of the chorus, yeah. and then the line is, and we won't give up, and we won't turn back now. All right, is the first one. Do you and need- we won't you... turn back now to the wall called tumbling down. That's correct. Okay. Shout out to Revolution Recordings. Um, everybody in that facility was amazing whether it was the artists that were coming in, whether it was my team that came in to do what they needed to do. Um, Revolution was amazing. From the person at the front door, to the person that I was talking to on the phone, um, to the engineers that were involved, everything was amazing. Track House, uh, we were able to go there to, um, to lay some vocals down for a hip hop artist out here in Kitchener, Scars, and Tate's great. Um, and he was very welcoming. It was a great opportunity to work with Tate. I've worked with him in the past, so it was a great way to reconnect with Tate. Be in the studio and chop it up uh, for a bit to get the verse that I needed. Cedar Tree Studios, um, shout out to everybody there. Ron, that space recorded the choir. I had the opportunity to working with Ron before this project, so we had a relationship. Um, but once again, he was great with being very articulate of what the protocols were in terms of COVID. And when the choir came in, um, he, he was welcoming. We had to develop a plan, which took a bit of back and forth, back and forth, um, but we were able to land on a plan that worked because we needed so many people in the space that we had to figure out how to slice this pie in a safe way that everybody could be separated, but still find a way to create the energy as if they were all in the same room because he wanted that energy. Um, and he was great at navigating that. With all the studios, I have to say that, you know, it's that typical call when you call them and you know, you're going back and forth. But once they heard about the project, once they heard about the project and what it was, it was almost like it shifted the conversation to, what do you need? What do you need to make this happen? Because this is amazing and we will figure it out. Um, and Charterhouse in London was no different. Aaron was amazing. We came through. Um, I had Trishana um, come from out west to do her vocals there, and the Macaulay boys were there as well. And it was a great energy. Um, it was great to work with him. And again, although we recorded in multiple spots, again, Gary, myself, Darrell, were the constant things there just driving this bus. 